I'm Richard Ryan, welcome to Rated RR. In this week's episode, The Breakdown. Shark Week is here with movies like Sharknado, your guns and chainsaws might save you on land, but how far will different types of ammunition travel underwater in case a two-headed shark is trying to sink your boat? Over the last few months, I've done a bunch of underwater ballistics tests after seeing my buddy Destin over at Smarter Every Day's Underwater Pistols video. In preparation for Shark Week, the objective was to try as many different types of ammunition in different calibers to see how they reacted underwater. There's many reasons why you shouldn't try this at home, and I'll go more into that in the extras from this video. Firearm and ammunition malfunctions are extremely dangerous. For this episode, I'm going to stick with a 9mm round and show you a comparison between the Full Metal Jacket, Hornady Tap Hollow Points, and the Hornady Critical Duty Hollow Point Flex Tips. Now the distance outcome was pretty much expected, though the FMJ did travel almost twice as far as the hollow points. The main reason for these tests is to give you a frame of reference for my upcoming series of videos on super cavitation ammo. If you're not familiar with cavitation, check out the link to Smarter Every Day in the description below. Destin does a great job of explaining the physics behind it. What I'll be showing you is super cavitation technology that's been around since the 60s utilized in torpedoes. Now it's being incorporated in ammunition. This is a complete game changer for UUVs and waterborne operations. 
With this ammo, I can shoot underwater accurately with 5.56 ammo up to 15 meters, with 7.62 ammo 25 meters, and with 50 BMG ammo a whopping 60 meters. Now that might not sound like much, but compared to standard ammunition, not only can you fire underwater accurately with personnel and UUVs, but you can fire from below the water surface out of the water, or from out of the water surface into the water, as low as a seven degree angle without the bullet ricocheting or skipping off the water. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Thanks for watching guys. If you liked the video and you want to see more, make sure you pull that trigger on the subscribe button. If you want to check out the extras from this video and see more of the slow motion shots, including the malfunction that I set up, make sure you click that reloaded video annotation. Don't forget new episodes every single week right here on Rated RR. See y'all next time. Spending that Google money? <laughs> yeah!